capital R E E. Welcome to another edition of the One Year Radio Show with your host AJ the Trainer. I'm here with Claire. What's your last name again? McCree. McCree. Um, we have this wonderful Who Shot You Sports exhibition here at the Allentown um, Museum, and we're going to be going on a tour. We're going to be sharing some information today, so buckle up, follow along with us. Okay, Claire. Awesome. So this exhibition is a traveling show that came to us from the Brooklyn Museum. Okay. It's the largest exhibition of sports photography ever curated. Okay. Um, it has 181 photographs. Wow. And it covers a wide range of materials from looking at the earliest history of sports photography, looking back in the 1800s all the way up to the present day, the Olympics, sports around the world. Okay. So there's really a lot for everyone. Okay. So where are we starting with? So right here, we're in the first section of the exhibition. Mm -hmm. This is called The Beginnings of Sports Photography, and it's highlighting the early history. So there are images here, like this one by Edweird Moybridge. Okay. He was an American photographer who was really at the cutting edge of photographic technology in his time. Back in the 1800s, it was really an issue just to have a camera that could capture athletes in motion. Right. And so a lot of photographers just took posed portraits. But Moybridge was really innovative in developing a special shutter that went off fast enough to capture people running and jumping. And that's what we're looking at right here. There's a man going through a high jump, and you can see it's almost like as though they were film stills. You see each stage of the jump where he's going over the hurdle. Right. And Very interesting. Yeah, yeah. What year was this? So this is from 18... Hang on. <laughs> 1887. Okay. And his work was really influential to other photographers. They used it to develop photography that helped inform cinema, um, ergonomics medicine, the study of the human body in motion, physics, all of these really different subject areas. Okay. Um, That's very interesting. I'm going to have to take some shots of that, too. Mm-hmm. All right. Where are we headed next? Um, so let's head over, let's head to the second section of the exhibition. Okay. This section is called The Decisive Moment, and... It focuses on a concept in photography history called the decisive moment. The idea is that the photographer is really skilled at being able to capture um, not just any setting or any scene, but the most exciting part, the most exciting moment of an action or the right moment when someone walks by and makes that composition perfect. Yeah. And so... It's about the photographer's skill, not just, you know, being lucky, but having the skill in the moment to capture that perfect shot. Awesome. And so in this exhibition, the decisive moment section looks at a lot of different images, um, not necessarily the decisive moment in the game for the athlete or the sports fan, mm -hmm. but the decisive moment that makes a great photo. Oh, okay. Nice. It's like capturing that rare photo that no one else has. Right, yeah. And so in this photo, like this one we're looking at right here of Johnny Unitas, um, it shows him about to throw. And, um, and so in this, in this image, you really see um, there's like a strong sense of line between his arm and the player who's reaching up for the catch. Right. Um, so there's a lot... Um, a lot going on in terms of the way the photograph has been composed yeah. and the way the photographer was really able to capture that moment. I like the way that the, the audience in the stadium is, is sort of phased out. You see them, they're, they're like blurred, but then there's a clear, clear cut uh, view of the, the quarterback and the defense are trying to block the ball. Right, definitely. And yeah, these photographers, you know, that's a very deliberate choice. Um, the photographer wanted you to really see that really sharp 
um, moment of action and focus with the audience, the fans kind of fading away. Okay. Now, where did this original, this original work is located in New York? Or where, how did this all start? Like the whole mm -hmm. concept behind this idea, bringing this to light. Yeah, so the project um, was organized by the Brooklyn Museum and curated by a, a famous photographic historian, Gail Buckland. Okay. And she spent about five years working on this project. She actually interviewed all the photographers in the show who are still living while she was working on it to really get perspective on the skill and, a, you know, some appreciation for these photographers. A lot of times... You know, you see sports photos in um, the newspaper or on baseball cards or a cereal box, and you just kind of take this for granted. It's in your everyday life. Mm -hmm. um, but she really wanted to take the chance to honor the fact that these photographers have skill and have captured really important historical and cultural moments right. for, as so well. So you're talking about an extensive period of research and time. Five years, uh -huh. that's pretty extensive. That's, that's a long time, yeah. yeah. A very long time. <laughs> So where are we going and where are we moving on to next? Um, let's head upstairs to the second floor of the gallery okay. now. Aubrey and Bernard, Roman Wing, okay. This is, is this from the Olympics here, this photo? Yeah, so this image in our stairwell, this is a, um, an image from the 1992 Olympics. Um, and it's one photo from our show that we really loved. It captures this moment of joy and passion when the Nigerian women's relay team won. And it's something that you see throughout this show is just kind of the, the human drama and emotion that comes through in sports makes for really great art. Nice, nice, very nice. And a great thing about the show is that it's not just... Um, you know, it's not just for sports fans. It's something where, you know, you think about sports photography in everyday life and how that's something that, um, you know, you see it in everyday setting. And this show really takes it and brings it into an art museum. And it's so cool to have this material that's kind of different and unexpected. Yeah, yeah, these are some awesome photos here. Yeah, yeah. So this gallery we're standing in right now um, focuses on portraits of athletes as well as images of athletes behind the scenes. Right. So um, let's look at this photograph right over here. This is an image of a fencer, an American fencer named Laura Flessel. And it's a, it's a really exciting photo. You can really see that she's posed for action. Mm -hmm. And this photographer was really inspired by some of the earlier photographic images that we talked about downstairs, right. like the Edweird Moybridge photo. Right. This is awesome with the light and the rope uh -huh. and the wood as part of a, it's almost like this is a frame in itself, the background. Definitely, yeah, it's a very, it's a really cool composition, the way that he uses the different props in this, in this studio to create that, mm -hmm. that feeling. Nice, that is beautiful. Yeah. And he also, he was interested in the idea of motion study and repeated motion like those early photographers. And he actually drew the, he added these chalk markings to the background of the photograph to kind of evoke the motion of the fencer and, mm -hmm. and kind of pay homage to those early photographers who were developing this technology. Very nice. Yeah. Okay. This is interesting. Is that rugby? Yeah, yeah. So this is actually by the same artist, an image of a rugby player. Okay. And so it's interesting kind of as you look through the photographs in this section, this photograph is of uh, a rugby player laying on the ground with mud and blood on his face. Mm -hmm. And um, the, the way that portraits are used in different ways, in some cases they're they're posed in the studio. In some cases, the artists are capturing the players in action on the field. Right. Um, this is actually, this is a posed shot that was, you know, specifically composed, but it imitates the idea of being in the moment in the game. It's still very provocative. Definitely, yeah. This is a very interesting image right here. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. So on, on this wall, this section of the exhibition looks at 
photographs taken behind the scenes. So the idea of getting special access that the average, you know, you can't get just from going to a game as a fan. Mm -hmm. Um, Sports photographers for a long time have had been able to um, to go behind the scenes to look at athletes' training or to develop relationships with athletes. Okay. Um, and so, yeah, so this photograph shows um, two Chinese gymnasts training, and you get a sense of, you know, both it's amazing to look at their their strength and also to have this kind of access to see, um, you know, kind of what goes into that moment Mm-hmm. on the field or on the court as well. Okay. There's, there's another cool photo in this section. Okay. Um, over here, this is an image of the football player, Joe Namath, yeah. <laughs> um, kind of surrounded by reporters and, um, and followers. And this is really fun because it's a very candid, casual photo. He's just kind of hanging out by the pool in a lawn chair with all of these people around him. Um, and it's interesting to think about, you know, access to athletes and how that's changed mm-hmm. since his time. Right. Very nice. Yeah. And the show is, one thing that's really fun about this show is that there are a lot of um, images that are not necessarily... Um, you know, there are a lot of anonymous or lesser-known athletes, but there are also definitely some, some names that everyone will recognize. Yeah, I see, like Carl Lewis right here. Mm-hmm. This is an interesting shot right here. Yeah. Where is this shot from? So, um, this is an image of... Um, oh, we actually, we don't allow okay. photography okay, in the no exhibition. Okay, Sorry. Okay. <laughs> All right, that's fine. But it's a, it's a great photo. This okay. is an image of Carl Lewis... Um, warming down after training. Okay. And so I think it's, it's a really beautiful shot because, um, you know, it really focuses just on him and kind of you see, like, the definition of, of his body and his muscles, and mm-hmm. it's, it's almost like a sculpture it looks in like, some ways. It's like almost ballet, you know. Like... Right. He looks very pensive or right. peaceful. Right. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, and there's a great shot of um, Cassius Clay as well. Yeah, that's, he's one of my favorite boxers. Yeah. I want to, tell me about this image here with the guy that like he's on the starting line or whatever. Sure, yeah. This is another, it's similar to the Carl Lewis image and, um, you know, focusing on and celebrating the athletic body and okay. getting a sense of that sculptural presence. Um, I was by Brian Scott. He's actually a Penn Stater. Oh, okay. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So this this photographer, you know, he wanted to make this kind of this larger than life depiction of a runner crouching. He looks like he's crouching to to start off, ready to spring into action. Mm-hmm. And this image is really interesting because you get so much light and texture um, on his skin mm-hmm. and on his muscles. You can see the veins in his body and the way that he's crouched. You almost don't notice. It's a little bit abstract. It's right. you don't recognize him right away as a person. Um, mm-hmm. You see him more kind of as a series of shapes and, and silhouettes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's a really, really cool shot. Absolutely. This is something that if you haven't made it out to the Allentown Art Museum, you definitely want to come out and check this exhibit out. It's very, very interesting. If you're a, a sports fan, if you're interested in art, photography, this is a must-see if you're in the Allentown area. And give the uh, listeners the address. Oh, sure. Um, the Art Museum is at 31 North 5th Street in Allentown. Okay. How can they reach you? Um, they can reach us. The museum's phone number is 610 610- Four three two, four three three three, um, and they can also look at our website, okay. www.allentownartmuseum.org. Okay, nice. We'll be repeating it throughout the show. Excellent. So, <laughs> there was another image. Is this the image that you wanted to show me here? Um, I wanted to point out the Cassius Clay image here. Okay. Yeah, this is a very well-known image. It looks like uh, Muhammad Ali is um, underwater, getting ready for that resistance training. He's in it. This is a very popular photo here. Right. Yeah, and this photo is fun because it has such an interesting story behind it. Okay. Um, The photographer, Flip Shulka, he was going to, um, he was going to do a photo session with 
Muhammad Ali, who was Cassius Clay at that time, mm-hmm. and 